Hello, Facebook friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today, very specifically, I want to help you understand what exactly we need to do to launch the recount in Pennsylvania. And specifically, that means we are going to jump through some hoops. That is, jump through some hoops because this is what this current system is all about this current system that needs to be democratized, that makes it very difficult for us to vote and for us to have confidence in our votes because of these very hack-friendly electronic machines that we use uh, and a whole variety of other circumstances, including you know, voter ID laws, um, doubts about the uh, veracity of our votes, and so much more. So this is a movement for democracy, to restore the promise of democracy, starting with reforms so that we can have confidence in our votes. One of the symptoms you know, of a um, democracy run amok is that we have to jump through all these hoops, that the process is so very different and very complicated from state to state. And in Pennsylvania, it's especially complicated. Pennsylvania is the only state uh, in which the recount process has to be initiated by actually thousands of voters. We are a very strong, powerful, growing grassroots movement. Thanks to your vision, your passion, your leadership, we're emerging from this very contentious and divided election. We're merging with a sense of how we can come together from across all uh, aspects of the political spectrum, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Green, Libertarian, Independent, whatever, we can come together to say we need a voting system that we all can rely on. So I want to, you know, lay to rest. We're not on anybody's side here. We're not trying to hurt one candidate or help another candidate. This is about helping all voters, especially every resident of the United States of America, helping us restore confidence in our uh, much uh, challenged and uh, in many ways um, uh, struggling democracy. So thank you to everyone who's tuned in. Please uh, like, please share. Uh, this is directed to all of us, but especially to people in Pennsylvania. It's been so exciting to see people mobilize around the vision of this recount campaign to build our democracy, to ensure that we have confidence in the reliability and the security of our vote. So there are some things we have to do in Pennsylvania to launch this recount effort. And I'm going to talk through the steps right now. Basically, uh, we need volunteers. We need three people, three voters at least, in every precinct. And there are thousands of precincts in Pennsylvania, which again is why this is a grassroots mobilization. It depends on all of us. It especially depends on you in Pennsylvania. So we need thousands of volunteers to come forward who are members of or who are residents of thousands of districts in Pennsylvania, thousands of precincts, let me be specific, thousands of precincts in Pennsylvania. And uh, what we will be doing is submitting affidavits, which is a fancy word for a legal document, a legal statement, which you can download from our website. I'm about to walk you through the step-by-step -step here, but just for you to understand the general picture Thousands of voters in Pennsylvania who voted in this election will need to download this legal document, fill it out, sign it, get it notarized uh, by a notary public, which is basically a person who puts an official seal to say this is a legal document, you are who you say you are, etc. This gives its legal standing. Um, so you will download this special legal document, this affidavit, you will fill it out and sign, actually don't sign it until you go to the notary. So you're going to download it and fill it out but not sign it. 
you are going to then go to a notary tomorrow because it's hard to find a notary on a Sunday. You'll go to a notary tomorrow. In front of the notary, bring your driver's license or your passport, you need an ID. Uh, in front of the notary, you will sign it, um, present your identification. They will put on a stamp saying that this is a certified legal document and then you will take that document to your county clerk's office. Uh, and then, as a last step, you will take a picture of that legal document after the county clerk has put a, um, a time stamp on it. You're gonna take a picture of it or get a photocopy of it and email that to us so that we have collected uh, all of the evidence that we the voters are calling for this recount. So I'm gonna walk you through that again, step by step and give you the website, but that's the basic picture. Um, so uh, the website is jill2016.com slash recount PA. Again, jill2016.com slash recount PA. There you'll find a volunteer form, which you sign up on. That volunteer form provides a link to the instructions for this legal document called an affidavit. Once you get to the legal instructions for the affidavit, you will download that affidavit and print it out. When you print out the affidavit, you'll answer the questions on that affidavit and I'm picking up some of the questions as they come in here, um, which is uh, the deadline. Very good question, and I'll come back to that in just one second, because that's important. The deadline is um, happening as we speak, and different deadlines in different districts. That deadline could very well be Monday. It could be Tuesday. So we urge you to do this Monday as early as possible uh, in order to um, in order to launch the recount in as many districts as possible. There are some districts where the deadline has already passed. Our information is that this is a minority of the districts. We will try to get the names of those precincts where the deadline has passed so that you'll know about that and we'll post it as soon as we know. At this point, we don't have that information. So we just urge you to do this as quickly as possible. Then, um, so you've gone to the website, jill2016.com slash recount PA. You fill out the volunteer form, which then takes you to the link for the affidavit and the instructions for the affidavit. So you don't have to remember anything from this talk. You don't have to take notes. It's all there on the website for you, but I'll be going through it step by step just so that you're familiar with this process. Um, once you're on that affidavit form, you download it and you fill it out. Do not sign it until you are in front of the notary public. Um, one of the questions that it will ask is whether you voted on an optical scanner or on an electronic touch screen device. So in case you're not familiar with the terms, an optical scanner means that you filled out a paper ballot. You filled in an oval on a piece of paper and then you put it into a machine that scanned it. So if you touched a piece of paper that registered your vote, you used an optical scanner. If you simply touched a screen, you used a touch screen. So pretty simple and straightforward how to answer that question. So now you've downloaded the form, you have filled out the form, uh, but not signed it. The website will also uh, provide contact information for the address and the phone number of each of the county clerks in all of the districts. So those county clerks, um, you can get in touch with them. I encourage you to give them a call on Monday morning to find out what are their hours and to ensure that the deadline hasn't passed. If you're not able to get through, and sometimes that's the case, um, you know, I urge you to err on the safe side if you can 
and to arrive there <clears throat> at the earliest hour that you're available after, say, 9 o'clock when most of these county clerk offices open. And if you have friends who also voted in your precinct, encourage them to do the same because we need three voters from each precinct and there are thousands of precincts. So if you can spread the word, we'll be putting out an email uh, and social media info as well. So using our same grassroots mobilization to make this happen, um, I'm confident that we can uh, mobilize these legal statements, these affidavits, and get them in tomorrow, Monday, ideally, possibly Tuesday as a holdover, uh, but let's err on the safe side here and uh, try to make this happen. Um, let's see. All right, that pretty much covers it. I want to, again, stress that once you have this uh, notarized, so you've signed it in the presence of a notary. Uh, you then take it to the county clerk. They put a stamp on it. You take a picture of it. When you take that picture, you're going to email that uh, into the campaign. Uh, and that's our evidence. That's our, our legal backup that we actually did this because we want to safeguard against human error or against any other kind of uh, games that might be played. We want to be sure that we have the evidence of your submission. If you have gone to the effort to actually uh, make this happen, we want to be sure that that uh, effort is recorded in stone and sending us a picture of your time-stamped affidavit will be that extra insurance. And if you'd like, send us a picture of yourself, if you'd like as well, uh, along with a statement of why this matters to you. Why have you gone to the great lengths you have as part of this grassroots mobilization for our democracy, to restore the promise of our democracy? What's your personal statement about this? Why does it matter to you um, about your vote counting, about having a voting system that we can truly believe in. We'd love to hear your statement and to lift that up as part of our uh, grassroots movement, lifting up the grassroots voices who are making this happen. Um, a couple other questions um, about the notary. Where to find a notary if you haven't had to use a notary public before? One place is at a bank. Uh, if you have a local bank account, um, I believe a, a credit union uh, as well, whatever you use for banking um, should be able to provide a notary. And again, by calling them, you can ensure that the notary will be there. FedEx or UPS usually has notaries. And again, call your local facility um, in order to make sure that you have uh, the correct hours on that. But usually um, they are open uh, business hours, uh, nine to five at least, many later than that. Not the banks, the banks have the more restricted hours, but the FedExes and the UPS uh, generally have the extended hours. And <clears throat> the email address is the most difficult thing I think about this. You have to spell affidavits correctly, and I apologize for this. So the email where you're going to send this stuff is affidavits at jill2016.com. That's affidavits, A-F-F, -F, like Frank Frank, A-D, as in David, A-V, like victory, I-T-S. Affidavits with a double F should get you there. Affidavits at jill2016.com. I think that captures... Um, all of the information, and again, remember, I'm just plugging in here because I got a low, uh, a low battery signal. Um, remember that um, all the instructions are on our website. The website is jill2016.com slash recount PA, and your part in making this happen in Pennsylvania helping to mobilize the thousands of volunteers that it will take to legally create this recount effort. Um, this is part of 
what our democracy looks like right now, why it's on life support, why we need to create a democracy <clears throat> that not only counts our votes reliably and securely, but also which welcomes us as the voters, as the people of our communities and of this country. We need to have a role in this process which welcomes us and doesn't require us to jump through a whole lot of legal hoops in order to ensure that our votes count and that the results of the election are reliable and secure, not just in this election, in every election. This is something that benefits us all across the political spectrum. This is an issue that Donald Trump himself raised when he said this is a rigged election, and a lot of people resonated with that. It's also something that Bernie Sanders raised when he talked about the rigged economy. If we want an unrigged economy, we have to ensure that we have an unrigged democracy and an unrigged system of casting our votes and counting our votes. So we're in this for the long haul. We're in this with you. We're in this thanks to your support and the grassroots outpouring of support for taking back this promise of democracy and creating an America and a world that works for all of us. Thank you all so very much. Uh, we will be back on again by social media uh, at greater length and to answer further questions. Uh, I'm going to stop for now and let you get down to uh, the business of going to that website, checking in, downloading your form, and communicating with us again through that email, affidavits at jill2016.com, if you have further questions. I will try to come back on again or have other members of our staff as well so we can take questions again uh, through social media as well. Thank you all so very much. Um, we are the ones we've been waiting for. Let's stand up and make it happen. Thank you. Take care. All the best.